big problem was getting to access not only other people's research, but even your own. So you publish in a journal, and then you couldn't actually get hold of what you had published. You would have to pay for it. It's just ridiculous. When I started out in research, I could only access academic work through the university libraries, being at an institution um, that would support the licenses that I need. I couldn't even access all the papers that I published um, because sometimes the library would not subscribe to them. Sort of around 19, 20 years ago, maybe a little bit, a little bit more than that, scientists, um, scientific journals started to discover the internet and started to put papers online. The internet was created to help share information. It actually cost a lot of money to print a journal and to mail it across the world. But as soon as you had the internet, the logic of having a, a selective journal disappeared. Um, the whole idea of PLOS One was basically to say, well, what do we, you know, we have the internet now. We didn't have it 10 years ago. We didn't have it 20 years ago, whatever. Um, we didn't have it when Francis Bacon invented the scientific journal. So why don't we try to think about what a scientific journal should be like in the, in the age of the internet? And if you're putting the paper online and allowing people to find it and download it, there's no need to try to guess what kind of papers people want to read or are appropriate for them. So, so PLOS One exists because, because the internet exists. We are changing the key question people ask about publishing research. It's not about what journal is my paper for. It's about is it sound? Is it uh, high quality? Is it correct? You submit your paper to PLOS One and if the science is good, it will be published. And then after the fact, people can evaluate how strong a contribution it was. And that is hugely important uh, in terms of speeding up the process, in terms of not wasting reviewer time, your time, and most importantly, in terms of getting the science out there sooner so that the whole scientific enterprise can move forward more quickly. The focus is on the scientific rigor. And so I think that allows more scientific studies to get out there and lets people judge the significance and importance on their own and make, make important connections to their own research. I don't know how we ever live without it, to be honest. What's changed most over the last 10 years is open access publishing has become a viable and legitimate way of publishing scientific results. 10 years ago, it was considered a second-rate place to publish substandard science, and now you can publish your best science in open access publications. Well, I think the whole notion of open access has become accept accepted, by, but certainly by the most of the research community, not all, unfortunately, but, but, but most of it. It's becoming more and more normal to say, well, of course you have to make your research open access. Like, almost all of us researchers are funded in some way by the public, so to have research behind paywalls is just, it's just antiquated. PLOS really started a revolution that has now galvanized an entire generation of scientists. Well, PLOS One has clearly um, is, had an impact on, on scientists and the whole idea of, of, of open access publishing. Um, and, but it's also, of course, turned around other publishers who have now um, copied the whole idea. Uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, as they say. Yeah, I think they've sort of led the vanguard, really. Um, they're certainly the first journal I sort of thought of as an open access journal. And now it seems that a lot of the other more traditional journals are kind of scrabbling to keep up. So I think it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great sort of forcing everyone else to kind of keep up with them means that we've, we've got a much more open research sort of findings pool, I suppose, than we did 10 years ago. And I think a lot of that is down to PLOS and PLOS One. In the past 10 years, we've become really successful. Uh, a lot of publishers are now um, adopting our, our model um, of publishing of sound and, and valid science. These changes by, by the other publishers are very much welcome. Um, it means that more papers are published uh, open access um, than ever before. I think, you know, anyone thinking of publishing a paper should always think of uh, PLOS One as a, as a place to put their paper. It's 
uh, should be their number one thought of where they're going to put it. Start with one. One. Plus one. Now more than ever, we need open access.